What's going on YouTube? Come back at you with another video. Allhiphop.com put this story out, exclusive. Fans say Ja Rule New Fire Festival was a scam and amended $100 million lawsuit. So basically this initial lawsuit did not name Ja Rule as one of the defendants. Now there's been um, some fans who attended this event and they're seeking to have Ja Rule named as a defendant in a new amended class action lawsuit. So basically, um, they're arguing, the lawyers for the plaintiffs are arguing that Ja Rule was promoting this party 24 hours before it happened, but he knew it was a disaster basically and was telling artists to stay away. So at the same time, they're alleging that he knew what was going on, that it was going to be a, a, you know, a disaster, but he was still promoting it. So basically, this is what their attorney is saying right now. Defendant Atkins knew at the time of this post that the representation in the social media post, and they're referring to an Instagram post, was false as the stage was not set as the performers had either been told by defendants, including Atkins, not to attend or had canceled. So they're also saying Atkins clearly held himself out as co-founder of the festival and the public reasonably interpreted his public statements regarding the festival as a reliable source of information. So basically, they're saying that one of these people, at least one of these people, saw Ja Rule's post and then decided to go to this thing knowing it was a bad idea or not knowing it was a bad idea, but um, they saw the post. And then they assumed everything was good, but apparently they're alleging that Ja Rule at that time had already known that this whole situation was going to be a disaster. So here's more of what the lawyer's saying. Troubling, before plaintiffs and other ticket holders had arrived, these defendants urged artists to not attend due to the dangerous and uninhabitable conditions that were present at the event venue. Defendant Atkins knew at the time of this post that the representation in the social media post was false as the stage was not set as the performers had either been told by defendants, including Atkins, not to attend or had canceled. So um, he goes on to say, as a result of relying on the tweet, it was actually a tweet instead of an a Instagram post. As a result of the relying tweet, Mr. Abbas Ali had to spend a frightening evening on the island where the fire festival campsite was full of frantic attendees who were fighting over tents where there was a basic lack of provisions and where attendees were exposed to the elements. It also says defendant Atkins was the founder, funder, organizer, chief artistic leader and front and center promoter of the fire festival. He was also a controlling owner and officer of fire media and fire festival LLC in the aforesaid roles, he directed and was actively involved in policies and business strategy, including marketing, advertisement, or advertising and promotion content, strategy and delivery, said the plaintiff's attorney. So that's coming from the attorney. The lawsuit also says government has banned Ja Rule from ever producing an event on the island again. So... The people in the Bahamas not happy with Ja Rule at all. He's not allowed to be um, doing events there ever again in the future. This is looking kind of suspect for Ja Rule as far as moving forward. I think this could potentially be a big problem for him. We'll see how this plays out in court. I know that the plaintiffs have some really good attorneys, and they're definitely coming after Ja Rule. So as soon as we get more information about this, I'll let you guys know. Do you think Ja Rule should be liable for some of um, some kind of damages after everything that happened at the festival leave some feedback in the comments hit the like subscribe share make sure you also ring the notification bell i appreciate you watching peace